What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. In this video, I wanna showcase some new functionality that just came through with the December 2019 Power BI update, and that's how to customize and export themes. This is awesome in order to allow you to create these themes easily within Power BI without having to write any JSON code. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into a couple of examples here. I've also written about this topic in blog form, so if you wanna check out uh, basically this trick in writing, make sure you check out the BI Elite blog, link is down in the description. So uh, first of all, uh, you'll need to go to File, Options and Settings, Options. Uh, for the time being, while it's in preview, you'll need to go to your preview features and make sure the Customize Current Theme option is checked. Click OK. It'll ask you to restart your Power BI desktop, but once you do, you'll be able to uh, customize and export these themes. So to do that, if you have the new ribbon for Power BI activated as well, it'll be in the View tab and you'll see all of these themes. And you can easily switch between themes if you need to. So as I click themes, uh, you'll see that my colors are changing in the background. Uh, basically, we can find a theme that fits best for us. I like this blue theme right here. So this blue theme is pretty nice. So now you can click this down arrow and see all of these options. Uh, you can browse for themes, check out the theme gallery for other themes that people have created. Uh, or you can customize this current theme. So we're going to go ahead and do that and customize a couple of items here. So it's going to open up this dialog box here. Uh, you'll see a ton of options. I'm not going to go into each one of these, but you can see maybe if we want to change our default text to be maybe 12 size fonts and our titles, we want to show those as, let's say we want them to be really big right now. We'll change them to size 14. Let's apply and save. And you can see some of my text became bigger, my title became bigger, and a little bit more easy to read. So let's dive into a couple other options. We can customize uh, basically like the page background, um, set the transparency or the color on the page background. We can even uh, customize the filter pane on the right side. So if we wanna change that to pop out a little bit more, we can make that a nice kind of light blue or something like that, just so it, it pops a little bit in view. So if we apply and save that, you can see our filter pane actually turns blue over here, and now they're, uh, basically it, it pops out and kind of allows you to see that's a different pane than the report canvas. So once we have everything looking like we want, we can actually export this theme in order uh, to use this for future projects or send it to someone to let them use it. So we can click this export current theme button and we can save that to maybe my desktop. And it's just theme and I'll just call this, um, basically Power BI, BI theme.json. And that's going to download to my desktop. So let me go ahead and navigate there and see what it did. So it opened up this, or created this Power BI theme.json file. If we want to open that, we can edit it. We see it's just a JSON file with all of our styling that comes from that theme. So now, if we wanted to open up another file, let's say just this other random file I have here, we can now import that theme by going to Browse for Themes, going to my Power BI theme.json, and you see now my theme is brought into this whole uh, new file over here. So it's an awesome kind of cycle of uh, using built-in themes, customizing that theme, to get it how you like and then exporting that theme so you can use it in other Power BI files. So this is some awesome functionality. Uh, kudos to the Power BI team for implementing this awesome feature that's going to allow a lot of users to get reports looking the way they want it. So if you like this video, make sure you check out the blog on the BI Elite website, like the video, uh, subscribe to the blog, and I will see you in the next video.